Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Sunday, October 18th, the 21st Sunday after Pentecost, and week two in the Psalm Cycle. And I'd like to welcome you back after hiatus last week. I used the uh, time to relocate from Colorado to Arizona. And also I'd like to apologize for the background noise. It's 89 degrees here this morning at 4 a.m. And the humidity is nine, in the 90%. I don't know the precise number. So there, there are fans running and they will make some background noise. The scripture for this service, Psalm 114 and 115. Luke chapter 10, verse 1 to 12 and 17 to 20. And a canticle from 1 Chronicles, chapter 29, verses 10 through 11 and 13. And please join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. Our God is God and God alone does life and breath and O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, when Israel went out of Egypt, Judah was God's sanctuary. Alleluia. Psalm, Psalms 114 and 115. And please recite them with me. Alleluia, when Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, from an alien people, Judah was God's sanctuary, and Israel was God's dominion. The sea saw and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains skipped like rams, and the little hills like lambs. Oh, why, O oh sea, did you flee? Why, Jordan, were you thrown back? Why mountains that you skip like rams, and you little hills like lambs? Tremble earth at the presence of God most high, at the presence of the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, which turned the rock into a pool, and the flint into a fountain of waters. Alleluia, not to us, God most high, not to us, but to your name give the glory. For your mercy's sake, lest the heathen say, Where is their God? Our God is in the heavens. Our God does whatever God pleases. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. Eyes they have, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. Noses they have, but they cannot smell. They have hands, but they cannot feel. Feet they have, but they cannot walk. Neither can they speak through their throat, and they that make them are like them, and so is everyone that trusts in them. O Israel, trust in the Most High, God is your help and your shield. O house of Aaron and Elizabeth, trust in the Most High, God is your help and your shield. You that fear the Most High, trust in the Most High, God is your help and your shield. The Most High has been mindful of us. God will bless us. God will bless the house of Israel. God will bless the house of Aaron and Elizabeth. God will bless them that fear the Most High, both small and great. The Most High shall increase you more and more, you and your children. You are blessed by God Most High, who made heaven and earth. The heavens are God's, but the earth is given to its peoples. The dead do not praise you, Most High, neither any that go down into silence. But we will bless you from this time forth and forevermore. Hallelujah. 
Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. When Israel went out of Egypt, Judah was God's sanctuary. Alleluia. A lesson from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 10, beginning at verse 1. Now after this, Jesus appointed 70 others and sent them on ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself intended to go. And he said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go on your way. See, I am sending you out like lambs into the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say peace to this house. And if anyone is there who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person. But if not, it will return to you. Remain in the same house, eating and drinking whatever they provide, for the laborer deserves to be paid. And do not move about from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and its people welcome you, eat what is set before you, cure the sick who are there, and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not welcome you, go into its streets and say, even the dust of your town that clings to our feet, we wipe off in protest. Yet know this, the kingdom of God has come near. I tell you, on that day, it will be more tolerable for Sodom than for that town. The seventy returned with joy, saying, Lord, in your name, even the demons submit to us. And he said to them, I watch Satan fall from heaven like a flash of lightning. See, I have given you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing will hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice at this, that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. And please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation to keep your truth that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And please join me in reciting the canticle together. Alleluia, blessed are you, God of Israel, forever and ever. Yours is the greatness and the power, and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in heaven and on the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, and you are exalted as head above all. And now, therefore, our God, we thank you, and praise your glorious name. 
Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia. Amen.